Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know, I know. I'm just as shocked as you are, okay? I canceled my BoxyCharm subscription last month, but apparently somewhere along the way in my BoxyCharm journey that I've been getting for like, I think over two years at this point, I switched from a monthly subscription to a three month subscription, meaning I pay one price one month and then they send it out to me three months in a row so apparently i did that somewhere along the way and when i canceled i canceled like literally days after a new subscription had been activated so i still am gonna get two more boxes after this one even though i canceled it if that makes sense so you'll see this month september october and november boxy charms because i'm gonna still be getting the box since I already paid for those months. But after that, I'm done. I canceled my BoxyCharm subscription and it is what it is. So long intro to explain that, but yes. If you guys want to see what I got in my September BoxyCharm box, then let's go ahead and get started. So this month's BoxyCharm theme is BTS behind the scenes. The first product that I'm going to show you guys is the Elena Badro. I don't know how to pronounce that. It's a brush set and this is like, kind of a cool little brush case. Feels like a leathery material or like a suede, I guess. A suede is what I was looking for. And it's got three brushes inside. It doesn't say like on the brushes what they are, but it looks like a contouring brush, blender brush, and then an eyeliner brush. I feel like this is the most random brushes to get together. Like I feel like it's just so weird. I'm gonna use this to contour my face. And then we'll use the other brushes to like do eyes or I don't really know. I never use brushes like this. Would assume it's like to do an eyeliner or I guess you could use it for eyebrows, but I never use brushes like this. So I'm never gonna use this. They're really nice. Like they're super soft. The handles are super cute. This is kind of what they look like. I'm gonna bronze my face per usual and then I'll be back to use the contour brush to contour my face. Okay, so I'm gonna use the contouring one and I'm using the Milani Sun Kissed Silky Matte Powder Bronzer to contour. This is how much product it's picking up, which is not bad. Dust it off and then just contour out my cheeks. Ooh, this feels weird. I'm not used to synthetic brushes, I guess. So it feels really like, not fake, but just cheap, I guess. I don't know. This set masterfully creates a seamless, flawless makeup application. Contour, blend, and define with these three limited edition decadent synthetic makeup brushes. Travel or store your brushes in style with a luxurious tan pouch. Um, not really a fan of the brush so far. I don't know, I just don't feel like it really did much for me and it felt super cheap and I just was not the biggest fan of it. So, I mean, I'll still use this one. Let's just do some bronzer on my eyelid and use this. I'm gonna use the same bronzer I used on my cheek. They almost feel like I'm using like little kid brushes or something, if that makes sense. Like they feel kind of flimsy or something. I mean, obviously it blended in, it did fine, but these brushes are not going to be replacing my brushes anytime soon. Definitely not going to be keeping these. Going to give them away to my little cousin, but I guess they're worth a shot. And if you have no brushes at all, I guess they work better than nothing. This pack of brushes was $58. No ma'am. No way were these worth $58 to me. So these are going to be going bye-bye. Okay, I just did the rest of my makeup and back for another product. Let's do brows because I feel naked without my brows done. So obviously I got a brow product. This is the Saint Lux Brow Gel. So nothing fancy, pretty small. Um, it looks like a typical brow gel. It kind of reminds me of like eyelash glue, <laughs> like the bottle of it. Okay, so I'm going to try and just use this first. Um, it says it's clear, but I'm just going to brush up my brows in order first and then put this on and then do my actual brows. Bow down to your brows. This brow gel glides on effortlessly, leaving your brows looking fuller and giving them the perfect shape. The short brow brush will give you precise placement of your brows and the lightweight gel has no residue when dry. And 
definitely holds it up for the meantime. But I feel like a brow gel is something I would have to wear for a while or like wear throughout the day to see like how my brows hold. Okay, so so far I really like that brow gel. I feel like it holds really well. It dried super fast. So that's always nice. Usually I put brow gel on after I fill in my brows, but I did it opposite this time. And I think it looks really good. And I actually kind of liked that brow gel. So I definitely will be testing that out again, if not making it in my everyday, you know, makeup routine. And that brow gel was $22. Okay, next we have a lip product. And this is the Real Her I Define Beauty Myself Moisturizing Lipstick. This is freaking so cute. This is like so aesthetic it's ridiculous like i am such a fan of this this gold case or this gold packaging it's beautiful the only thing i hate about it is like the fingerprints you know when you have these kind of packages fingerprints are left everywhere and this is in the shade dusty pink Ooh, i don't think i'm gonna like that shade but we'll see so this is what it looks like i've tried real her products before in my boxycharm box like their brow pencil literal favorite brow pencil ever and i want to get another one i just haven't so we'll have to see about this i'm not going to use any liner or anything i'm just going to go straight in with this see what we were working with oh it's super soft holy cow it's super pink. Over time, encapsulated water is released from the lipstick, providing hydration to your lips. Not only is each shade infused with jojoba, seed oil, shea butter, and vitamin E, but each lipstick also provides all-day hydration with a creamy, smooth application. I mean, it's really pretty, and that was so incredibly creamy. It felt so nice on the lips, and it says it's moisturizing, so that's cool. The color, I don't think is for me. I'm not into, like, a pink kind of lipstick, but I actually really liked the formula of everything else. Usually typically layer all my lip products, so I might use it for layering, but I definitely wouldn't wear it by itself. This product was $18. So the first product that I used before is this Georgette Clinger Primer. It says it's for all skin types. I used this primer before I did my makeup. It felt super watery i guess is the word or liquidy i don't really know i don't feel like it did anything for my skin at all it says that it blurs imperfections and prepares your skin for radiant finish with intensely conditioning face primer um i don't think it blurred anything i literally didn't even feel like it moisturized my face at all it just left it like really watery i guess that's basically how i feel about it blur imperfections and ensure an all-day radiant finish hydrating and long wearing it could skin with advanced hyaluronic acid ensuring silky smooth makeup application that won't settle into pores fine lines or dry areas a nourishing blend of marul oil and vitamins a e f and b locks in moisture and protects against visible signs of aging ideal for all oil and silicone based foundation formulas i just am into like primers like elf poreless putty or the benefit or the tarte poreless primer like i like those kind of primers on me personally and this just didn't do it for me i just am not a fan so i felt like it was a waste of step for me but this was a 32 dollars probably not gonna be keeping this in my makeup stash and then the last thing that we got i didn't get a chance to try it but i'm super excited because i love glam glow but it is this glam glow youth mud glow stimulizing treatment okay i feel like the package is a lot of it overkill this is the package this is the product like really, we needed this whole big package just for this little product. I mean, it's very cute. I love the packaging, but it's a little bit much and wasteful, I guess. But look at this, this is so cute. Love that. But again, it could have been smaller packaging. Just my opinion. This looks so cute. I just love anything Glam Glow. I think it's such good products. And this is like just a stimulating mask, I guess. I'll have to use it like tonight or tomorrow or something and test it out. I'm not gonna do it now, obviously, because I have a full face of makeup. But it says, Youth Mud Exfoliates for Volcanic Pumice Rock to help soothe the appearance of fine lines and visibly soften skin's texture while natural clays lift impurities without disturbing skin's essential oils. Antioxidants from green tea smooth for more glowing, youthful looking skin instantly. This product was $60. This is so tiny and it was $60. But I'm excited to use it and I'll have to let you guys know what I thought about it. Okay, so I just threw on this e.l.f. liquid matte lipstick in the shade Coffee over my lips. This is a very, very deep color Color, and I feel like that pink helped like tone it down a bit, which I actually really like the combination of the two. So I'm probably 
I'm gonna be using these a lot more often together. But let's add up the total of our box. We have the Elena Badro Baby Blues brush set for $58. The Saint Lux brow gel for $22. The Real Her moisturizing lipstick for $18. The Georgette Klinger Primer for $32. And then the Glam Glow Stimulating Treatment for $60 for a total of $190. So not a bad box this month. This definitely took the cake with the price. I really liked these two products. So I'll definitely be keeping these. I'll be giving away the brush set and the primer to my little cousin and then I will probably be keeping this. I love Glam Glow, so. But yeah, that is what I got in my September BoxyCharm box. So if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below what you wanna see next. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you never miss a future upload from me. And I guess until next time, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys, thanks for watching. Go out and make the world smile. No, why do I keep thinking it's August? I need my calculator. Duh. What month is it? There's something in my eye. Glides on effortless. Gosh dang it. I got mascara on my lid. Oh wait, I'm reading the long wrong thing. Monthly prescription? Prescription. <laughs> like I need it. Settle in. Settle